Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm. Oh, what a fantastic way to ring in the day. Literally ringing it in. Ah, oh, so happy. Now, today is going to be a free day for us, and then tomorrow is George's birthday. Now, we already have, I believe, let me double check. Yes, I see the tea, and it is, it is calling out to me, singing to me. But uh, I must check that we have George's favorite meal ready. We do not. We do not have George's favorite meal. Okay, we're going to have to get George's favorite meal ready. There we go. But not before we get more tea on the go. <sighs> there is literally no better way to start your day than tea. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, TV. Look, I ring in, I ring in the day because, because the crystal is next to the bed. I, I don't want tea next to the bed. Otherwise, I've got no reason to get out of bed, okay? I have to trick myself into getting out of bed. But the TV, you are, you are no longer the right way to start the day. I'm sorry, but I'm sure there is no hard feelings because you've been replaced by tea. I mean, there was really no contest. That's like saying you're a little bit sad that you're not quite as, as, as crazy hot as the sun or as massive in the sky. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Oh, well, that's a little bit sad for George's birthday. Okay, well, uh, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today, for you started your day the right way with tea. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Thank you, Junimos, for appreciating the correct way to start the day. I knew I could count on you. Go no fish in the fish pond. Mm. Uh, let's leave our dress spinner here. I don't think we're going to need to take that with us. I am... Um, I know I've got to fill that up with Grand Chisplay stuff, but <laughs> no. Not right now. We'll do that another time. Ooh, we've got a... We've got a... No, we've got... We've got uh, cranberries. Fantastic. Porta, Yoko. And, and yes, tea now lives on my hopper. Where else do you think it's going to be? <gasps> it's ready. Oh, well, that is a lot faster than I was expecting. Porta, girls. There we are. <laughs> oh, you sneaky sneak. Trying to hide over there, my lord. All right, let's uh, grab everything from here. A little bit of rubbish, but that's fine. We can recycle that. Tonk. You know what? It's easy enough to say, yeah, never catch any rubbish in your crab pots. But the rubbish is still there, though. You're just not catching it now. You're not cleaning the rubbish out of the pond. That doesn't seem like a very dapper thing to do. All right, let's grab a little bit of everything. We're getting so many iridium eggs now. This is fantastic. I am going to keep them there, though. We are going to prioritize saving the iridium eggs. Um, the small eggs... Actually, iridium egg, you're coming with me. I'm going to go and pop you over here. Let's get you into the fridge. The iridium egg, though, no, not in the fridge. Grange display box. There we go. Fridge. Uh, let's pop an egg in there. Have we got some regular meal? We do have some regular meal. Marvellous, marvellous. And we've got some fish that I'm fine with uh, with processing into sashimi once the time is here. Okay, let's check on the mail. Ah, back. I've got a new item in stock. It's called a or the auto grabber. This thing can milk your cows and goats, shear your sheep, gather eggs, and pluck your woolly rabbits. I was going to say wobbly rabbits, which, if you've ever kept rabbits... It's actually not an unfair description. <laughs> All on its own, it's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 gold. Money. That is absolutely fine money, but I... See, if only we had had that, if only we had had that in uh, the last the last season, because honestly, that the enormous amount of time I had to spend every day taking care of the animals, made doing the other things in the game really difficult to get to. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to eat the cranberries. Let's uh, hold... Well, I don't want to hold my watering can either. Let's let's hold... Uh, you know what? A torch. There we go. I can't actually place a torch down, and I'm a little bit worried that I could pick my cranberries or hoe my cranberries to death. So uh, this is the best thing to hold on to right now. Oh, no! Get that back. Ah, oh, damn it. No, I put a second one down. Okay, well, maybe this wasn't as good of an idea as I thought. Let's uh, get those back. Chomp. There we go. Everything okay down here? Mostly okay. The bok choy are ready to be uh, harvested. We have enough time to get another um, planting of bok choy. We would be right up against the end of the season, though. So, it's a pretty... Big question, that one. Mm, I'm tempted, though. I am actually really tempted. First, let's water the plants that we actually have. There we go. I think we could 
quite easily do it, in fact. If we start now, we can probably have all of the bok choy seeds we need. So, let's have a look. Uh, the gold are going to appear. We will use the regular in the fridge. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm feeling like storing the regular items in the fridge is the right thing to do. We'll sell or process the silver stars, though. Uh, gold, that'll be sold. Uh, if we process the, uh, sorry, sell the silver stars, the silver stars will be sold in the produce bin. That's the way I'm thinking about it. I think we're going to just sell the cranberries, though. There we go. And grab all of that. There we are. Marvellous. Now, let's go and have a quick quick uh, glance in here. Of course, we can get some more tea on the go. Fantastic news. Oh, wrong chest. Maybe I'll just grab one. There we go. And as long as we're about the farm, we may as well do all of that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, popping these up here is not, in my opinion, a bad move. Getting a little bit of everything in there is actually kind of good. Um, but it will eventually cause me some issues, I suspect. There we are. We've got, uh, got an omelette. We can make some nice things. Autumn's bounty, but what we really need is fried mushrooms. Where is that in the dishes? Fried mushrooms there. I need a morel. A morel mushroom. Let me go and see if we've got one. I should do. Let's pop a little bit of more bok choy in there. Uh, yes, we do. We've got three, in fact. Fantastic. Okay, George's birthday present is now set. And yeah, I know. I, I completely missed out on the, uh, the red mushroom quest. I feel ultra sad about this. Truly. I truly do. But uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. Right. Oh, we're only getting one back. Oh, that's a bit of a... Oh, no, there we go. We got a decent amount back from that. How much would it take to make another seed maker? A gold bar. Might have one, actually. Let's go and have a look. No, we do not. Uh, that is a shame. Okay. Well, if we don't intend to go down the mines, I can always swing by Clint's, get some more iron ore, some gold ore, get a couple more sprinklers done. Got a bit of money there, but there is a couple of other things that I'm going to need to purchase relatively soon. But first and foremost, now, let's decide on what fish we're going to put into the fish pond. We've got catfish. Uh, we should have... We've got two salmon. Um, we've got the squid, but I, I don't really feel like, like uh, using the squid, honestly. No, we're gonna go with catfish. Let's go and pop two catfish into the pond. Well, can, how, do I, how do I do this? There we go. I'm assuming that's how we do it. Population, two of three. We're feeling healthy. That's marvelous. Change appearance. What? Oh. I can't can't quite see what the appearance is changing to. So let's try that. No, that's also not going to work. Let's try it down from the, from the bottom then. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. Sure. A third catfish. I believe the way the, the pond works, from uh, judging by people's comments, is that the more fish I have in there, they will give me quests, I believe. And based off those quests, then... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and prioritize using the sprinkler area. Uh, based off those quests, we will then be able to uh, get different kinds of materials back from them as well. So uh, we do actually want to max out the population as quickly as we can. Uh, they will do that themselves, though, to a certain degree. All right, let's uh, start popping down more bok choy seeds. Uh, these only take four days, so we do definitely have enough time to do this, which is going to be grand. Uh, we may even have enough time to get quite a lot of them set up. It will mean that I've got a bit of a uh, bit of watering to do every day, but that's fine. A little bit of time around the farm to make sure that I've got everything I need. Doesn't seem to be a bad use of my time, honestly. Could make some more preserve jars as well, though. That is another thing. I don't think we're going to go with the auto grabber, not when we've got so few animals. I don't think there's any real reason to do it. And it would be far too easy then to... Because I would know that they're taken care of, I might be disinclined to pay them a visit and make sure that they're happy. And uh, again, I've mentioned this in, in previous... Uh, in previous playthroughs, I absolutely agree with uh, my parents on this. 
that whilst it's absolutely, uh, you know, it's completely uh, capable of setting up automatic feeding, automatic watering, it means that you know they're not spending as much time with with your pets and uh, making sure that they're they're healthy. There's lots of things that you'll notice just from a mood change, and if you, you've automated their care, you're not going to be there to notice that mood. You want some new paths in there. I'm certain that I can build a bench. Oh, no, no. I'm going to have to ask someone if I can build a bench. Okay. Right to you. Well, there's a couple of things that I need to get from Marnie, and we're probably going to take care of that today. You know what? I'm going to use the phone. We've got a phone, so why not use it, eh? Why not use said phone? Got more tea as well. Ah, brilliant. Let's go and use the phone. Also, ring the crystal on our way past. Uh, Marnie. Ha! <laughs> Mod cons. This feels amazing. This is completely new. Hello, you've reached Marnie's ranch. My shop is closed today. Uh, I would... Right, okay, well, please make a selection. Well, that's annoying. Uh, check livestock prices, I guess. So we can only have chickens. Um... I could try and upgrade the coop, actually. I wanted to see what uh, what the inventory of the shop was today, but okay. That's fine. We'll ring Robin. Hey, it's Robin. I'm out of the house today for my weekly aerobics club. Sorry, beep. Oh, I can check the store inventory here. Okay. Building upgrade costs. 4,000 gold. Can handle that. 300 wood, 100 stone. Can absolutely handle that. Okay. Other things, we could get another silo if I really wanted to. I'm not sure I do, though. I would kind of like to get a shed, but that's out of my price range right now. Um, I think we're probably getting to the point. I think we may even have the 100 hardwood that's necessary to get the stable. Certainly an option. Certainly an option. But the big coop is really where I want to be at the moment. Big coop is really where I want to be at the moment. I could build another coop, and it's a lot less money. And if you know you're going to be going down like a ranching path, then getting multiples of the smaller buildings is probably a better use of your cash initially. But for now, for now, no. Uh, right, we need to drop off the forage. So, hazelnut, yep, yep, you're going in there, all of you. And the rest is fruit, so you can all go in here. Wild plum as well, actually, sure. Um, oh, we've got all of these cranberries that I haven't moved around. Let me take care of that. Tonk. There we are. Let me pop the cranberries into the fridge, and then we're going to go into town. We need to go and get a bit of stuff done around the town, I think. Uh, yeah. We ultimately do need to get a barn. If for no other reason, if for no other reason than having access to milk. It's kind of an important one, that. So many... Oh, hey, Abigail, how are you doing? I may fight with my parents a lot, but I know they're just looking out for me. They're just doing what they think is best. I don't know why I'm saying this to you. Don't tell anyone. Secret safe with me. I have no reason to, to spread that kind of thing around, my lord. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, so good. Let's go to town. Woo! -hoo. Our first ride on the mines. Oh, I'm so happy. Hey, yo, Clint. Let's have a quick chat, shall we? You gonna tell me to go somewhere else? No. Somehow, the old town minecart system started working again. It's very convenient for getting to and from the mines. Don't get too cozy, though. If it can start up so suddenly, it could just as well shut down. I sincerely hope that there will be no reason why the Junimo would want to shut that down. Ever. Right, we're gonna need five, six, I mean, hmm. That'll give me a, a pickaxe and one spare bit of ore. And then that will give me a new sprinkler. There we go. That's good enough for me for now. I think that is indeed good enough for me for now. I could spend some time trying to fish up a tiger trout. I could, actually. I'm somewhat tempted to try. Hey, mate. Ah, oh, my feet feel great in these new shoes. They're a little crisp, but they'll break in, especially after I run through the haunted maze this weekend. What? what? Oh. Have I not been paying attention? I may not have been paying attention. Hey, I'm going to invite some friends over to do a rock rejuvenation ceremony, but I'll need some crystals to channel the right energies. Do you think you can lend me a hand? I can certainly try. Cave Patrol, the number of bats in the local caves has made mining dangerous for other people, not me. 
There's good money for anyone willing to slay 50 of them. I don't want to slay 50 bears. Okay, what do I need to get, Emily? Uh, deliver a ruby, a topaz, an emerald, and a jade. And an amethyst. Oof, that is actually going to be a bit of a rough one, actually. we got six days. And at least tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be spending a fair bit of time down the map. Maybe I... I wonder, should I take... Should I take uh, Clint's job as well? Since I'm going to be down the mines... 50 bat is a tall order, though. 50 bat is a very tall order. I'm not sure about that. Anything down here? A little bit of coral. I shall accept. I mean, I was down here anyway, and I intend to do a little bit of fishing. So I'm not going to be using the minecart system to get back, uh, regardless. I have already missed my opportunity to sell items to Pierre. That's fine. I can put them in the produce bin. I do like to, to give Pierre the pick of the bunch, but uh, not always going to be an option. There we go. And with that, let's head on back. Now, if we're going to be heading to the mines tomorrow, I'm not going to head straight to the mines, no matter what, as I do need to deliver some items for um, for George. That being said, maybe I should do the fishing tomorrow, since I'm going to have to be up early, and I'm not going to be taking the minecarts. I could swing to the south, do a bit of fishing in the river, then head on over to George. The farm looks really pretty right now. Oh, thank you, Penny. That's really nice what you say. In fact, uh, the comment section has been saying that as well. I don't think I, I necessarily deserve all of this high praise, but I, I do very much appreciate it. Something smells earthy. Oh, right. You work on a farm. Uh, is that a polite way of saying that I smell bad? I, I don't know. You might actually mean that as a compliment. Uh, Emily's not in right now. Oh, sorry. I was trying to stay out your way. I was assuming you were heading to your room. Uh, I, th I think I think Haley may have been splashing around in the water. Her shoes were squeaking when she walked. Uh, let's pop in and see if Leah is around. I mean, I'm down here anyway. I guess if I did fish, oh, it's locked. Uh, if I did fish, it wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing to do. Sure, you know what? Let's do a little bit of fishing. We're here anyway. Put the fishing rod on the on its own uh, bar. And from here, I don't know if I can cast it enough. No, I can't. I can't get into the deep water here. So we'll go around the other way. It does take a bit more time to do, but should be fine. Let's see what we get. If we're ultra lucky, a tiger trout will just hop into my hands, and I only need to do fishing once. But this is definitely not a tiger trout. Uh, it's fine. It's a iridium, though. Wow, I, I was so surprised by that that I uh, didn't cast the, the rod properly. Okay. We actually do need to get a bit of seaweed at this point, amusingly. Oh, treasure as well. Maybe a perfect. Maybe a perfect with treasure. It is a perfect with treasure. That is a lot of EXP right there. Another bream. Another iridium bream. And 15 braids. Very nice. Okay, well, uh, if nothing else, it's kind of telling me that maybe, just maybe, I want to get a uh, fishing pond for... Oh, do I want the treasure? I kind of do. A fishing pond for bream. As well. I'm going to need multiple fishing ponds anyway, I think. Uh, there we go. What do we got? We've got a salmon. And another treasure chest. Ooh, some wild bait. Hmm. Gives you a catch, uh, a chance to catch two fish at once. I approve. Let's test this out. I know it's past seven, which means there's no chance of getting a tiger trout now. But come on, I just got a new bait. Let's enjoy ourselves. Live a little, you know? Ooh, some more treasure as well. I might have actually been able to catch that along with the perfect fishing bonus, but uh, I'd already kind of let things go astray. Uh, chub, along with, okay, some rocks and a geode. Not bad. We're being very lucky with the treasure chest right now. I'm extremely happy with this. We haven't even got... Uh, I don't think the dress spin is the lure, which gives you a better chance of getting treasure chests. I think there is one. Either that or there is a fishing level. Uh, a fishing choice that will uh, give you a better chance of getting uh, getting treasure chests when you fish. Either way, this is fine for now. I think we'll go until about 8pm, then we need to go get back and see if we... Ooh, fantastic. Uh, then we need to see if we can get back and get some more bok choy planted. Because we have to plant it today. Uh, well, actually, technically, we might actually be able to plant it tomorrow as well. But uh, Oh, there we go. That was actually pretty amazing. And we've got time for one more cat. Look, I said until 8, and I was already casting when it turned when it turned 8. So that's fine. It's it's allowed. 
I didn't say I had to anticipate how long it would take me to catch the fish. Okay, well, that's fine. My bait is used up. But, uh, we got one, one uh, double fish there. That's fine. All right, well, I will be checking out Marnie's uh, inventory tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll see if we can get a little bit more from that. Uh, we don't need to plant anything right now. And we've already got everything sorted. Uh, there was a little bit of concern that I still had a torch behind the apple tree. I do not. The reason why, it, or what I imagine to be the reason why it didn't uh, work properly last time is that grass grew behind it. Bit annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, can't be too sad about that, I suppose. All right, let's get you going. And also, get all of the furnaces lit. There we are. And pop that there. We want one gold bar. And two iron bars, please. And indeed, thank you. That would be marvellous. Right, drop off the geode, drop off the rock. Actually, I'm going to pick up the rocks because I do want to lay a little bit more, uh, a little bit more um, tiling around the fish pond. Uh, it was also actually mentioned to me that we. Oh, that, what? That, can I, have I put it in there? Uh, oh no, I'm trying to place. <laughs> I'm trying to mystically double my seeds. Not quite how it works, Avak. Uh, where's the path? There we are. Let's grab a couple. Now, it was mentioned to me that if I place... And I'm willing to experiment with this. If I place paths around a tree, these won't themselves interrupt the tree's growth. I've always assumed that that was the case. But I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to see if uh, maybe I just... Uh, I've been making things harder for myself this whole time by avoiding that. And let's go and get all of this planted. Uh, we will hopefully have another sprinkler on the morrow. But for now, this will do. Uh, I guess I'll pop one there as well. You may actually get everything planted. It's going to be amazing. I mean, as much as we can plant from that, that uh, one harvest of bok choy. Oh, well, I, that, I say. Well, yeah, I guess it was technically one harvest, even though it was uh, more than one one uh, instance of bok choy that we grabbed. You know what? My tea has run out. Let me have a have a sip. Ah, late night tea. Perfect. All right. Okay. Anything else in my inventory I need to move around? Right. Tomorrow, when we take George's present, I also need to take metal bars to Clint's. Uh, let's grab a tea leaf. Get some more tea going. Drop off the fish. Um, yeah, we'll drop off the shrimp. Chub. Salmon. I'm going to put the bream over here. I would actually like to keep the bream. Oh, we actually had three chub as well. You know what? I'm going to move those around. There we go. That, that will hopefully help out a bit. We'll see. We will have to see. Right, get the last bok choy in there. We've got five. Uh, that's enough, I think. Let's just get these down. Ooh, a little bit of extra as well. This has actually turned into quite a good day. Quite a good day. Uh, you know what? While I'm out here, I may as well uh, pop in, check in on, on the girls. Thank you. I'll grab this mail. We'll go and get that, uh, that sold as well. Also, can close the, the gate. I know I don't need to. I do it because... I... I've played too much Harvest Moon, okay? You say I don't need to, but my uh, my Harvest Moon playing self says I absolutely must. All right, let's drop all of this off. And the rest, I guess we're just going to sell today. Sorry, Pierre. I do generally like to sell these direct, but not this time, mate. I'm fleeing, Ganny. Um, yeah, we should be okay. Have I? What kind of chub have I got in here? Yeah, we got an iridium chub. I just wanted to double check that that was the case. Okay, uh, let's actually grab the highest iridium item I've got. Uh, maybe if I got something like an iridium wood skip or something. Unfortunately, we don't have an iridium ghost fish. That is that is a, a shame. Um, I'm 
not sure which of these would be the most valuable. I'm going to take the rainbow trout, though. All right, it is very late. It is time for me to turn in. I'm going to drop that off there. I'm going to grab George's present. I'm also going to leave these there because I want to want to build with them later. All right. I think uh, that's us for the night. No star, Yoko. Sleep well. Didn't get a fishing level. Don't know if I was expecting it, though. But we got a lot of money. Oh, my Lord. That was good. Seven mayonnaises at 399 a pop. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So good, I decided I had to have an extra big sip of tea. Practically a gulp. Your apple tree wasn't able to grow last night. Ah, see, I thought that was the case. I thought, I thought that uh, that it wouldn't work. Oh well. Thank you very much for the the tip, anyway. I'm sure it uh, was the, the best of intentions, but it does seem that the the uh, paths do stop it, and this may actually mean we're not going to get enough apples because I can't really afford too many doesn't grows. Oh well. Uh, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay, so two days of rain. That's actually not too bad. I totally forgot. My bad. Uh, yeah, fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that's unfortunate. Not gonna lie. That's a bit sad. Oh, well. Uh, on the plus side, though, we can now... Make ourselves the sprinkler. I believe I needed some refined quartz, which I also store over here. Yoink. So, new sprinkler, please. Now let's go get that down. And we'll. Ha oh no! What happened there? Oh, probably lightning? Well, I just didn't plant it there? Oh, that was silly of me. Oh well. All is done. Alright, let's go and get. The traps rebated. Now, I have no idea what to expect on how long it takes for the fish pond to... Uh... Oh, excellent. Our flowers are all ready. Uh, how long it takes the fish pond to get a new... Uh, a new fish in it? Like, how long it takes them to breed? We'll see. Uh, where, where's the last one? There we go. Let's pop down all of the eggs. Oh, actually, I meant to keep the small ones. Unfortunately, right now, I can't take any hay out because they haven't eaten any. But once they do, I will be removing some of that hay, uh, or rather the fodder, and then we'll be uh, unloading the, the silo completely. There we are. Okay, my fridge is actually starting to get a little bit full. I don't think there was anything else I needed to make today, though. Uh, Autumn's bounty. No, I don't think we need to do that. Let's go ahead, pop these glasses into recycling. There we are. And then we need to get down into the mines. But first, I want to check with Marnie what her stock is today. It is one thing I very, very desperately need. Hello, you've reached Marnie's Ranch. My business hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please come visit me then. Beep. <sighs> 30 minutes too early. It's fine. I need to go that way anyway. I may as well just check. I I was debating fishing today, but... Well, I, I've got to do it in this order anyway. I might as well. Because that is an item I absolutely require. There we go. I was hoping they'd be able to keep up with me, but alas, no. So much tea. Ooh, bit of a rolling uh, thunderclap there. Hmm. No, wait, wait. I'm going to go. Uh, I should have bought more iron, actually, thinking about it. But I'm glad to have the sprinkler, although I don't need it to do. Oh no. It's two days. Shane. Ah, back. 
I am sorry. My, my life. It's a pathetic joke. Look at me. Why do I even try? I'm too small and stupid to, to take control of my life. Just a piece of salt garbage filtering in the wind. Flittering, rather. I've been coming here often lately, just looking down. Here's a chance to finally take control of my life. These cliffs. But too scared, too anxious, just like always. Avak, all I do is work, sleep, and drink to dull the feelings of self-hatred. Why should I even go on? Tell me. Tell me why I shouldn't roll off this cliff right now. This is always one of the worst cutscenes. Not, not the worst as in I... <laughs> it feels the worst to encounter it. It would be a sin. It's... <laughs> Jazz needs you, you're like a father to her. The decision is your own. Just know that I'm here for you. I... He's reaching out. He's searching for a lifeline. If, if someone has already come to the point where they, there's nothing that they can find to live for, this moment doesn't happen. If they've... If they've decided that there is nothing, then they don't ask someone to tell them if there's something. Then they're not open to the idea that that there there is something that they haven't accounted for. And and at, at that point, I don't think they actually want someone to tell them if they've made a mistake. So Shane asking me to tell him that you know what's there to live for. It kind of comes at odds with my opinion that the decision is his own, and it is perhaps one of the only decisions that is truly his. You don't get to, to like, this is something that, that I've uh, pondered many times. You don't actually ask to be alive. No one can ask you consent for that. You come into the world by someone else's decision. Completely. You might not want it. You might not like the, the, the hand that you were dealt with, but you then have to deal with that because someone else wanted you to be there. Leaving is something you have full control over, but it is at the detriment of other people. Especially those closest to you. It is... A, <laughs> some, sometimes when you think about life, it, it can feel like like you're living it for other people. But even within that, there can be moments that are that are precious, that are worth getting to experience. And you can't really speak for someone else who's who's in a position like this because you haven't been through what they're going through, or at least you know most people haven't. I don't know. I, the two options that I always hover on are Jazz needs you, you're like a father to her. Because it's it's less vapid than... Because there's so much to live for. I mean, he literally described that the vast majority of his life is just pain. Yes, there's so much pain to live for. That's where you should live. That that's, doesn't feel like it's a suitable answer. But the problem here is that it puts unknowingly so much responsibility on Jazz. <sighs> I always, always find this so hard between these two choices. We're going to go with... Mm. I'm not going to put any, any responsibility on Jazz. I'll take what responsibility there is to take from my, my reply here. Just know that I'm here for you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I really do. Avak. I think you should take me to the hospital now. Of course, mate. Of 
Well, that was that was so much heavier than what I was expecting to do with the with the day today. I pumped his stomach and rehydrated his body. He's gonna be okay. It's good that you brought him in, though. Too much alcohol is terrible for the body, but right now I'm most worried about his mental health. When he comes to, I'll have a chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counsellor in Zuzu City. Life can be painful sometimes. And there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Wow. Well, wow. <sighs> it's like where, where do you go after that? <laughs> Let's go and talk with Marnie. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Abba. You look like you're soaked, you poor thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit wet. My soul, my soul is 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 a bit soaked too. Um, uh, shop supplies. Uh, we are going to need a heater. Thank you. That is extremely, extremely required. <sighs> Autograph No. Ornamental hair bale. That might be nice at some point, but we don't need it right now. Thank you, Marnie. All right. Oof. We could do a little bit of fishing, but... Um, well, you know what? Sure. Let's, let's do a little bit of fishing. And I need I need to, to find my quiet place again. Oh, there we go. That wasn't quite where I wanted to cast, but it'll do, I suppose. <sighs> let's see what we can get. Not quite there. Oh, there we go. And and before anyone and before anyone mentions it, well, you know, if you find these cutscenes a bit distressing, you know, you can avoid it. That's absolutely an option, just by not building up Shane's Shane's friendship level. But just because that that cutscene is hard for me to endure as a bystander, and I know, I know, again, they're just pixels. They don't actually have feelings. They're written in a certain way. To invoke feelings in me, but at the same time, I don't know. I, I I kind of role play any game that I'm playing, and just knowing that by becoming close to someone, I'm going to have to endure their pain as well, isn't a reason for me not to want to become close to them. In fact, it's kind of a reason that I would want to become close to them faster, so that I could help faster. Hooray, Tiger Trout! A reward for a heavy cutscene. Hey, me, Lewis. Hi right there, Avak. Taking a break? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> I hope the river doesn't overflow. Uh, so do I. So do I. My lord. Alright, okay. Let us make our way. First and indeed foremost. Over to Clint. Um, well, actually, I was... Oh, no, no. Uh, damn, I was going to turn this in. Get my pickaxe upgraded. But now, if I do that, I can't go mining. And I need to go mining now. Ah, uh, what have I done? Well, and the problem with the festivals is, is you can't even really do it on festival days either. Ah, well, my plans have just been scuppered by my own silly mistake in accepting the quest. I didn't know what 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 gems she was going to need. Well, the Spinner Sea Festival, um, we got a couple of days. We got a couple of days. I am going to go down the mine though. That's that's where I'm headed. Hey, Shane. Uh, sorry, not Shane. No. Sebastian, Shane's on my brain right now, okay? Shush. Oh, what time is it? I think I slept too much last night. Uh, you may have, but here you go. Hi, Sebastian. Let's see. Pam cast the name, right? Damn it. Look, okay. It was a heavy moment. It's stuck in my head. It's going to be there for a while. I really love this. How did you know? I, I had a feeling, but also I'm trying to make up for getting your name wrong. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh. Hello, buddy. Oh. Hi, Avak. What's up? Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. You can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. That that is I have no basis upon which to have formed this opinion. I'm not gonna lie to the guy. I'm not gonna be one of these people that say, Oh no, you you're singing perfectly, even though it's it's literally like listening to a tone deaf cat. 
and then they they go into the world thinking they they're really good at singing and then they sing and then all of a sudden everyone's like oh my god you're awful and their world shatters because you've built up this false impression we all have our strengths and weaknesses worthless yeah that's about some sort wow no i wouldn't do that even if i straight up didn't like him we all have our strengths and weaknesses yeah i guess you're right Well, I'm not going to give up. Good. That's one of your strengths, Alex. If I work hard, I can do anything. That is absolutely one of your strengths. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. <laughs> Isn't that what you smart people talk about? <laughs> have a good one, mate. Uh, right. Hello, birthday boy. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. You're more than welcome, George. Alex is my grandson. Have I told you that already? Uh, you have, yes. Huh. Speak up. I do. Yeah. Hey, Evelyn. The good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. The fall flowers are delicate, so don't go stomping on them. I know how you kids like to do. <laughs> Why would I stomp on flowers? Grass doesn't count. Hey, I want to ask you something. Sure. Do you think the ladies like my haircut? Uh, it looks, what? It does not look like a fungal growth. Yeah, it looks fashionable. Yeah, I know. That's why I have it like this. And then why did you ask? Ah, oh, my lord, you confuse me. Right, let us go, and I guess I'll pop into Pierre's. Oh, close on Wednesday. Never mind, I won't be popping into Pierre's. This is the problem. I can't see Pierre on a Wednesday. I was going to give him sashimi. I wasn't even going to try and buy anything. I don't care about the silly shop. Just wanted to give a gift. How dare you deny my gift giving ways? This is how I'm trying to restore the equilibrium in my soul game. <sighs> there you go. Bundle complete. At least the Junimo will be happy. That goes a long way to making me feel a bit better. Well, wow, lots of bait. Thank you very much. Okay, now I just need to get a blobfish, a scorpion carp, or a lava eel. You know what? Probably closer to getting the lava eel than anything else. Based purely on where we are in the mines. But it's still going to take us a little while to get to the point where we can actually fish the lava lake, unfortunately. We'll see how that goes, though. Well, I've got all sorts of, of ideas now as well regarding the uh, sorts of things we might be able to uh, get going with. Uh, when it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. You know what? I don't need all of this right now. This is a super gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I'm sure I'll get another another iron down the mine. Hey there, Avak. Hi. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Got more to say. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Seems to be pretty good. I mean, after all, you, you reinforced it. Okay, I would like to have a quick look. There are a few things I want. The birch set is ultra nice looking. Um... <laughs> Could get another mini fridge. Allows you to store additional ingredients. Ooh, now that is a nice idea. Plasma TV. Can we purchase inside your house? Oh, can be placed, rather. Furniture catalog? No. Seasonal plant? No. Um, log section. There's some nice items here. I'm looking for a particularly nice floor. Rustic plank floor, wood floor. Crystal path. I think we're going to need the crystal path. The stepping stone path. I don't want the stone walkway. I think the brick floor as well. We'll see how those go for the uh, for the tea sanctuary. Oh, oh, sorry. I meant to buy a couple of other things as well. I would like... Um, apparently, these all have to be placed down individually. That's a bit of a pain. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure about the birch bench. I'll take two. I'm fairly certain that I can use those in my house. Even if I don't feel that they quite match up to the tea sanctuary vibe that I'm looking for. Maybe seats would be better. Or, or like some, some ornately carved stone. Yeah, I'm not sure the woodworking is strictly what I'm looking for for that. Alright, time for us to drop some things off. 
we don't need the tea leaves of this, nor do we need any of the fish, the heater, or any of these items. I've got so much stuff that I shouldn't have brought with me. The tea is obviously coming with me. Why would I leave the tea behind, of all things? Um, the fishing rod. Don't actually need to bring the fishing rod, and this is why. Because if we get down to the level where we can fish, I can just come back up and get it, and then go use the elevator to go back down. I uh, need to just sort my inventory out a little bit better. There we go. Then grab my weapons. There we are. Sorted. Right, before we head on down. <sighs> there we go. Right, let's continue our adventures. Hello. Nope. Gonna take you guys out. Nope. Nice try. Nope. Absolutely not. Thank you. Right, okay. Now then, nothing else really down here. Oh, a little bit of uh, refined quartz. I won't say no, certainly won't. Uh, let's continue on our way. Anything down here? Well, there is a slime, I suppose, but... Uh, let's go and pin you against the wall, take care of you quickly. Nope. Ah, I wasn't able to turn around fast enough. There we are, another solar essence. Very nice. Now, I'm not specifically looking for stone this time, so we're going to make a bit faster progress. I am looking for ores, though. There we, go. there we are. We're probably going to have to go through a fair bit now to find the ladder down. Uh, I don't think the ladders can ever be on this tile because of the weird texture that it would create, but I could be wrong about that. Let's go for the slightly off-color rocks. There we are, the ones that stand out a little bit more. Let's see if we can't find our way down. Unfortunately, it's taking longer than expected. Nope, nothing there. Nope, come on. This is unfortunate. We're not going to find an easy way down. and Our luck isn't going to be particularly grand right now either. Which is a bit of a pain. It's not the best time to be coming down the mines really, but... Oh well, what can you do? I made a promise to Emily. I'm going to do my very level best to uh, to get that sorted. Now, I have been told that the bigger jobs like these don't... Um, they aren't one and done. Uh, or rather, you might, you might... If you've completed it, it might be over. But if you don't complete them, then they do come around again. Which I'm very thankful to know. Ah, oh, there we are. Hello. This feels a little bit bad, but all right. Actually, this level looks particularly good, to be honest. So many ores. Nope. There we are. Nope. How did you just move through that rock? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Also, that all looks amazing. Why are you bouncing through rocks all the time? There we go. All right. Start gathering up the ore. I was taking care of this ghost wherever I can. Oh, that was a good hit. A little bit of uh, extra copper. Certainly wouldn't go amiss. Got a tear over there. Nope. Uh, no, got nothing out of it. But the iron ore there is fantastic. Two of them straight away as well. Very nice. Could gather up the torches. Don't really need the torches on this level, so I may as well take them back with me, actually. There we go. And let's grab you. Now, got a little bit more iron over there. So far, we haven't actually seen many bats, which is an interesting one. Though I suppose, when you think about it, it would be better to come down here if you were looking for something like bats on a bad luck day. Since you've got much better chance of having an infested level. Uh, and by the same token, you'd want that on a day where you were having uh, to hunt around for uh, bugs. Especially for bugs, actually. Because I imagine the infested levels when there are bugs around are just fantastic for getting them. A bit of extra quartz there. Thank you. Nope. Okay, fine. I guess yes. After all. I'm just tanking the damage because it was fast to, to not turn around to deal with it. Let's have a look. Right, have we got any ores around? Nothing really jumping out at me yet, sadly. Got another tier, though. Not bad. Hello. Drink. 
No. Right, my energy is getting a little bit low, but not so far that I'm particularly worried about it. Oh, now I'm slimed. Fine. Okay, so that's a fair trade. I'm slimed. You're dead. There we go. Right, let's have a... Gobble down some sashimi. Also, have a sip of tea. Warm, warm myself up a bit. Ah, there we go. Right, let's carry on. Now, if we're lucky, we can find the ladder to get down quickly, but we're still a ways off from the next level point. Uh, level 60. And I think the lava lake is like level 80 or something around there, I'm fairly certain. It's quite deep down. Okay, let's deal with you. Ooh. Yes. We found one of the gems. Good times. All right, let's uh, get these. It'll be amber, I think. Oh, uh, to topaz. My bad. All right, now I need to find those stairs down. There we go. Let me just have a quick look. Right, so topaz. We've got ruby, emerald, jade, and amethyst. Yet to go. If there are better levels for mining certain types of uh, gems, do let me know in the comments because I, I have a scratchy feeling at the back of my brain that there is and that I've just forgotten what they were. If ever I knew beyond knowing that that just was the case. Might might simply be that I, at some point I knew that there, that was a thing but uh, have since forgotten which levels were which. You know what? You were running away. Oh no, now you're running towards me. I should have just let you run. That was that was merciless. There we go. Wonder how much iron I've now got. Oh, there we go. Stairs down. But this is a level I want to explore a bit. But now I know that the stairs are right at the end of this path. See, that's why I wanted to explore. Ooh. Aquamarine, thank you very much indeed. And another stairs. Now I don't even need to go all the way back. I approve. No. Don't approve of that. There we go. Some more coal as well. Who keeps leaving these satchels full of coal? Most peculiar. Wow, okay. Now that was, was definitely worth us looking. Okay. I was a little bit... Like, well, I should just go down to the next level. Really, I want to get to level 60. But uh, now that we've got the mines, the minecart, I can make the trip so much faster. Oh, no. Thank you. Uh, I refuse. Okay, and there, there we go. We can just go straight down to level 60 straight away. And I'm absolutely going to do that this time. Whew. Okay, there we go. We've got the wood mallet. Not really something I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to, but uh, okay. We can fish down here, but instead we're going to go straight back up. All right, what are we leaving behind? We're leaving behind uh, these and taking more or less everything else with us. There we go. If I can pick up everything, I can't, but that's fine. I'll leave the wood mallet there. I think everything else is good. All right, that wasn't a bad uh, trip, all things considered, to the bus stop. Indeed, I agree, Sky Whale. Well, that definitely was a... <laughs> that was definitely a Room Factory 4 reference there. Uh, okay, now, what am I going to drop off? I've got a couple of minutes, so I really should clear out my inventory first. Uh, let's drop off the Frozen Tears, Geodes, Ores, all of the ores, so many ores, glorious, wonderful ores. We've got an Amethyst, we've got an Aquamarine, we've got a Topaz, those are... Oh, we've got a Jade. Is that everything we needed? No, we need a Ruby. Uh, oh no, sorry. Topaz, Jade, Amethyst. Oh, we didn't need an Aquamarine. We need an Emerald and we need a Ruby. Okay, fair enough. Uh, a little bit saddening, but... Oh well, what can you do? Right, let's go grab you. Put that in there. Uh, along with the Stone. And the iron. We'll get a bunch of the, the ores on the go now. Got a lot of iron ore now, thanks to that. Got another three that we can make as well, which is fantastic news. Uh, we'll pop in the... Um, actually, do we have everything I need here? Salmon-wise? Uh, yeah, we actually do have 
two iridium salmon. Uh, I'm going to sell the gold salmon then. And we've got two iridium chubs. Now, I'm going to keep the twos. Because we can then uh, set up a... Um, we can uh, properly set up a fish pond with those. All right, we need to get to bed before setting up the heater, before putting down the uh, the windows, etc., etc. It's time to turn in for the night. Ah, no star, Yoko. No levels, sadly, but uh, well, we made, still made a little bit of money. Very, very little amount. Uh, we'll have some extra. Um, mayo to make use of though on the morrow and that's it for today's episode i really do hope that you have all enjoyed my apple tree wasn't able to grow oh i forgot to pull up the <laughs> flooring <laughs> i was so so focused on so many other things oh well we're probably not getting any extra apples uh this time around but that's just the way of things sadly but that is going to be it from me for today. I hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. Hopefully I can remember to pull up those paths. But uh, we will we'll see whether I do or not in the next episode, I suppose. I'll be recording that tomorrow, so there's plenty of time for me to forget and also plenty of time for you to remind me in the comments down below. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>